When you're doing a van build project and you've bought all your components and you've got the van picked out and finished all the outside stuff, then you start looking at the inside. One of the most important things tends to be the colors. What designs, what styles, what textures? What kind of vibe do you want to have inside your van? Well, I'm at Perfect Fit in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here to take a look at some of the materials that they have to deck out the inside of your van. If you're not going for that wooden interior, you might want to be looking towards some sort of a fabric or even a flooring technique, and uh, Perfect Fit might have the perfect fit for you. Hi. Hi. So uh, I talked to Katie yesterday mm -hmm. and I told you that I'm interested in coming and taking a look because I'm building a van uh -huh. and uh, I'm recording the process. I'm interested in showing off some of the different materials that you have to offer. Cool. So uh, yeah, show me around. Do you supply to a lot of like van builders? Yeah, we supply to like a lot of the outfitters a lot in like Washington, and yeah. Oregon and like California, okay. Utah. Do you know my story a little bit? My plan was to finish the build in Detroit, Okay. but then I got here and I'm like, Rickson's is the heating company, and then Just Roaming is the electrical company, mm -hmm. and, and then all of these companies were like, they were like right around here. So I'm like, I think I'm just gonna stay here and finish the van. Yeah, absolutely. This is like a hot spot yeah. kind of for the van world yeah. too. So I found a little apartment, and uh, somebody slashed my tires yesterday. Oh, well, welcome to Portland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I went to your website, I was yeah. looking for, for Tweed. Yeah. And then I like went on a, I went down a rabbit hole, and yeah. I'm like, oh, they got this, and like, Oh my god, this is this is really really nice. I know, and they supply like like hundreds of different types yeah. of and like styles of the flooring. But yeah, we try to be like a one-stop shop for the van community. So okay, what's uh, what's super popular in the van world right now? Okay, so we'll just start with the floors. Um, we are a distributor for Lawn Seal. Lawn Seal is based in Carson, California. Um, and it's this vinyl flooring. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, it's like lighter weight stuff, but this is definitely more popular in the van world, especially um, the coin flooring right yeah, here. Yeah. We see a lot of, um, they have like Lawn Coin 1, which is like the smooth coin right here, and then Lawn Coin 2, which is like a little bit more textured. Okay. And you've got the diamond plate, you know. Yeah, I mean, nice we have too. so many different types. Super cool. Yeah. What is this? Is this the face up floor? Is this like a carpet or? No, so this is two tech two. So this is what we just started bringing in. Um, we import it from Belgium. It's a heat laminated woven flooring. It has like a felt backing, which kind of aids in like, um, like some acoustics and like sound dampening. But it's 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 essentially it's flooring. So like it's what you're standing on right now. Oh, okay. So we have, we stock all um, six of these right here. And it's um, a six foot, seven I inch. Yeah, yeah I saw that at Adventure Wagon. Mm -hmm. They had, they yeah, had so a. Adventure Wagon yeah. uses um, some of this stuff. And yeah. this you're seeing more and more pop up in the van. Yeah. Utility wise, this is great. Yeah. And I mean, even, just utility wise. Yeah. And even um, they have like a, a sample of one called the Lawn Ridge where it's like, it has like horizontal and vertical and kind of diagonal pattern on it and okay. it's really popular like a lot of people use it and i think it looks really cool too I'm, i interrupted you you were looking for... oh no you did i'm just trying to find like a sample of it we have sample books everywhere but i don't know like see this is a sample of the two oh, okay. and it's really cool stuff because it's like heat laminated together if you were to like pour water on it like it just pulls right Beats on top off. yeah yeah, um, no like hair or dirt or dust can like penetrate it. Do you glue it down? Yeah, any high temp contact adhesive, like okay. you can glue it down. But like with the lawn seal, what's different about this one when you adhere it, um, because it's like a vinyl, you need a plasticizer resistant adhesive. It's a little different. Okay. It like calls for a two part epoxy and we sell that, so. Yeah, it just well, kind of as long as you have the glue. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants uh, a floor from lawn seal, yeah. how quick can they get it in, in uh, get it? It's it's a super fast turnaround. So the process that like a lot of people like to do is they'll contact Lawn Seal, they'll go through Lawn Seal, they'll get some samples. They might get like little tiny samples like this um, yeah. sent out to them so they can see it, they can come and feel it. And then in one to two business days, it ships out to them and they should get it like within a week. So it's like a really quick turnaround, especially like within a market where there are so many uncertainties and like bottlenecks. And yeah, everything. yeah, logistics is yeah. a mess. So yeah. Lawn Seal's pretty on top of like 
all of their flooring and getting stuff out. You know, sometimes I'll go through phases where I'm like, I really want this design. Yeah. And then I'll look at a pile of swatches and I'll be like, yeah, there's a lot of cool yeah. stuff in there. And, I mean, they have like so many different types of like flooring that looks like, like they have like the faux wood grains. Yeah. They have like the flex. They have some with yeah. texture. How much of your industry for you in this office is marine versus uh, automotive? So perfect fit um it's been around for more than like a hundred years it's like a really awesome old company that started in portland and then it merged with another company called mcdonald's inc perfect fit started off in the automotive world we did like a lot of stuff with automotive customers but marine is like a huge part of our industry especially being yeah. in the pacific northwest yeah i'm from detroit marine yeah. is huge you know yeah. the biggest freshwater marina in the world was i worked at that marina oh, nice. for a long time you know so somebody's gonna do their cushions right these are these are sort of that material yeah so we have a bunch of different vinyls here for like the automotive for hospitality for everything like that i was thinking like the leather couch that I'm yeah couch absolutely and, and i can show you some swatches of that stuff too but yeah. i mean we I have mean like that yeah. yeah it's i mean it's it's really That's, cool i mean faux leather these days is incredible i know i'm a big i'm a big fan of faux yeah. leather. yeah and then we've got your uh your tweeds yeah, and your yeah, which one was the one? That, okay, these are the ones, right? Pretty much that. Uh, no, that's this tweed over here. It's a polyolefin um, woven fabric. So, can you use any tweed, or is the marathon tweed sort of perfect for the walls of a van as opposed to, say, something like this? Do they behave differently? Um, I don't really know like the properties of this one, but the marathon itself, um, it's really it's really good for the walls. It has two hundred and fifty thousand double rubs. So like it's it's pretty like resilient stuff. Okay. What does that double rub mean? It means you can literally like double rub yeah, it. Yeah, you can like ru like rub up against it. Two hundred and fifty times. Yeah, and when you're using it on the walls and. 250,000. 250,000 times. Yeah, right. The video has gone to a test. I'm going to I'm going to test it. It'll take, <laughs> come back in a month. <laughs> I'll have no fingers. It's really resilient stuff. Yeah. It doesn't have like a whole lot of stretch to it. Maybe like a little bit on the bias. But they're able to contour that stuff on like really yeah. organically shaped stuff. Yeah. And that's like my favorite thing about seeing these vans is the people that that build them. They're just like you're such artists and like being able to do that like if i were to do it myself it would look so so bad <laughs> yeah yeah well you know that's why that well, that's why they do what they do right yeah and you were talking about um like cushions and stuff like that yeah so we do stock some some umbrellas okay so um this is more of like an awning kind of material but okay. people do use it for cushions because it's like water wicking it's it's mm -hmm. somewhat soft yeah. and yeah 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 so do you, you sell the foam foam pieces or you have a place you no, know a guy we actually do our own foam too oh okay yeah, and i'll show you that we bring in like huge buns of foams like a bunch of different densities like these are some of our more popular ones like this is our medium firm this is our firm and this is like our firm firm but yeah we get in these huge buns from canada and then we have like five machines over there that will cut it to like they're called buns yeah i mean because they look like they giant bread like buns, buns. Yeah, yeah. yeah people can like make their own mattresses with like the different densities we have like memory foam toppers so yeah we had just moved here um back in October, end of October, we moved from like a smaller place. And then as soon as we moved in here, we started bringing in more products and we're like already have a room. <laughs> different adhesives for different applications, right? So what is, uh, what, is what is for what? Yeah, so this is like um, the equivalent of like a DAP weld wood. So this is like that thicker glue. People use it for the walls. They, they use it for like everything. The P300 and the P308, it's a high temp contact adhesive. It's like low VOC. We're getting a lot of our van people to start using it and they're seeing great success. The F80 is good for upholstery. The F50 is good for foam. Yep. We've got like K-Drip and like a bunch of other different like types of everything. Adhesive. Yeah. Cool. How much material would you need for, say, an entire interior of a space of a van? Just to give somebody an idea. You know, we're using, you're not going to use that much. No, you won't. You won't. You know. I don't know how many Probably. of these I would maybe save, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, <laughs> that was awesome. That was not awesome. So this is, like, bigger rolls of the toast that we just brought in. Um, yeah, toast. Every roll is, like, between 49 to... I don't know, like 58 yards. 
so every role is a little bit different. We have okay. like entire rolls and rows of all this um, automotive vinyls. Okay. Think of all the different things that are going to be made out of all this stuff. I know. I mean, like like uh, the the gamut of. I know. You know, of things. Um, this is pewter. Pewter's pretty popular, but this one right here. So this is the gray heather, and I'll roll it out just so you can because it, it doesn't always read the same way on like a little tiny swatch. Oh. Yeah. It's a nice sort of sort of busy texture. Yeah. Do you have anything darker though? But it would be nice to go to something that might be a, a toned down. I mean, we do have ones like cobblestone, which let me see. Here it is, cobblestone. Yeah, that might have like black and stuff in it. It's like black and tans and browns. So you don't like com feel like completely one dimensional. Yeah. This one is like a little lighter. This one is coal. Coal. Yeah. That's what I was sort of look thinking of. Yeah. Too dark and you start looking like a cave. Yeah. 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 Try to keep everything we can in stock. We're really good about stocking this stuff. So this whole thing is marathon. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Like to do the walls and the ceiling in like a 144 sprinter, you would need between like 12 to 14 yards. And then like a 170 would be like 15 to 17. Cool. That's cool that you know that off the top of your head. Yeah, yeah, you're in the, you're in the, you're in the, you're in the zone. I'm, a sp I'm trying to be a sponge <laughs> for like everything that I learned. Yeah, that's good information though for people, you know, interested in, yeah. in you know. Uh, this is charcoal. Charcoal. Yeah. That's is, charcoal? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm mixing up coal and charcoal. Yeah, so okay, charcoal okay. is like a mix between the gray mix and the gray heather, but it only has kind of like a one, like the, the lightness is only stitched one way. It's only yeah. woven one way. Where okay. we have like pewter, where the lightness is um, like both ways. Like this is, cross -stitch. this is checkerboard almost. Like, you know, you've got... Yeah, this boom, is Scott. I yeah. wish I sold more of this. <laughs> you like it? I mean, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I hope that there's someone daring out there that can take <laughs> yeah. their van in this. You know what's a funny thing is when you only have one van, you can't yeah. you can't experiment too much. Yeah. Like like I was looking at that floor and yeah. I'm like, oh that would be neat, but what if it's not what I like yeah. you you can't be like, okay, burn it, let's do another, you know. Yeah. What you get is what you get, you know. Yeah. Is this a brown or is this a Yeah, so this is espresso. So this is yeah. Oh, can I see espresso on the table? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll be serving espressos. <laughs> Only fitting then. Yeah, right? Ooh. It's kind of cool. You I like it. Like the... so, I like yeah, that. and people can't really like tell. You like see like a little swatch of it and it doesn't really like make sense and then you have to like... This is like one of my favorite parts is like when people come in and they want to see stuff. Yeah. Because it totally reads like completely different. What is the price fluctuation between uh, between colors? Does it matter or... No, no. It it's just, pretty much the same. Yeah. It just depends on like retail and wholesale kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is where we keep all of our marathons. Um, all of this stuff. These are all of our vinyls. Okay. I lived on a yacht in the Caribbean. Oh, I was nice. first mate. I was like uh, nice. Gilligan. I was basically <laughs> Gilligan. And... Um, I really liked how they would take a wooden panel mm -hmm. and then they would upholster it with a vinyl mm -hmm. with some foam behind it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it has that, like, the walls are all poofy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's hard to explain, but they're, like, poofy. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if that would work in a van. Tweed is more harsh. Yeah. It's flat, you know. Absolutely. But and, um... So something that we're seeing a lot of in the market as well is instead of doing, like, every wall with just like a tweed fabric. And a lot of people do wood. Yeah. So it's like a good balance. It's yeah. not like 90% of the market is using this stuff. Like a lot of people use a lot of wood. Yeah. But to break it up, some people will use like a vinyl like this. They'll yeah. also use like a thinner one, but they'll put it on as a headliner. Yep. So like the lights will hit it and it just kind of gives that like contrast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for giving me some time. This yeah, is fun. No, this is super fun <laughs> for me. This is our closed cell foam. Okay. We sell it in a variety of oh, yeah. thicknesses. Like the uh -huh. most popular that people use, we call it our Pad 5. It's an eighth inch closed cell foam. Um, is it's that a, in over there? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's on the big roll right yeah, here. So we'll yeah. just literally roll it out and ship it out. <laughs> so this would go, you'd cut out a panel, mm -hmm. you, then that would go over it and then you'd wrap it with the vinyl. And the one thing that you just have to kind of be careful with when like applying this stuff or like putting any kind of pressure on it because it's closed cell it doesn't rebound like a whole whole lot like if yeah. at all so like if i were to take 
this corner and dig my nail into it, like that's gonna be there forever. We're a distributor for the 3M um, Thin Slit. Thin Slit. Yeah, yeah, so this is our SM600L. It's like pretty, pretty thick stuff, but people will use this as insulation. I think the R value is like around a five or so. Yeah, it's real good. What yeah. are these pucks for? They seem like you got a lot of the same style. What are these used for? Um, I believe that this is used for a company here that does concrete. And oh. I think what they do is they put these in like the, the back of the the concrete truck and it cleans them out. Oh. Like, so they use them as like a cleaning. Okay. I could I could be wrong, but I'm I'm pretty I'll, sure that this the is the story's for them. nice. I, I like that kind We're of explanation going with it. that works. If it's not true, it's it's still an interesting lie. So this is more fabric that we started bringing in. Um for the for the van. Yeah. So it's they are um polyesters whereas marathon is a polyolefin but it's it's the same type of material mm -hmm. it's just woven differently and this one has like a, a a backing on it and it has like maybe like a little bit more of a stretch yeah you could feel it right away yeah. it's, it's got and all of them are the same polyesters they're just woven differently so they all have like a different feel to them so like this one is like cloud. i love it so it's much it's cloud. and it's varic and it has like a velvety oh. almost texture to it and like this would be great for cushions or like yeah bedding or anything like that yeah. because it's so it's so soft and i think it's it's so pretty i like that it's it's got flecks of darker colors yeah. throughout it it's not it reminds me of like a birch tree or something yeah yeah a birch tree so definitely exactly. more of like an and it's very vibe. soft it's super soft this is manetta so that one was very that's a canvas Mm -hmm. That so, has a very like painter's canvas. Feel. So a lot of people um, are going to start switching over. They want to start switching over to using Minetta. It looks a lot like Marathon. I just think it's like a little more modern. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, again, it's a lot softer. It doesn't have the 250,000 double rub. It has like, I think it's 100,000. Uh, but what from what Chris tells me, um, anything over 70,000 yeah, yeah, <laughs> is yeah. like You're, gonna, you're in big numbers. Yeah. Really big numbers. Yeah. And then darker colors. Yeah. So this one is, so this is Varic. So it's that velvety one again. Yeah. And then we have. You can um, feel the ends actually. That's a good way to tell because you yeah. can feel the, the strands. Bleaker. So this one, um, this one kind of like reminds me of a marine flooring that we yeah. see here, but. It almost looks like uh, Tetris. Yeah, you know, there's bit. like like shapes inside. It absolutely does. Yeah, that's such a good way to describe that. So this is Bleaker, and then we have Hester somewhere. Minetta Hester. Hester. That yeah. Sounds so like that's a, that's this one. So that Minetta. sounds like the name of a kid that gets beat up in school. I hope not. Poor Hester. <laughs> Poor Hester. Poor Hester. We offer these in like a lot of different colors. We're just slowly introducing the line, so we're not bringing all of them in. What are all? Oh, these are the these are the header. These are this the is the header phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is, it's foam backed. Okay. People will come in, get some for like a car they're yeah. restoring. Cool. I want to see if Moxie's over here. Oh, it is. It's right here. So this one is really cool. You've got some Moxie? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Do. I do. I do. <laughs> you I you know. have it's some delightful. Moxie. just came in. Okay. Um, so this is a, it's a vinyl. It's a, like a seating vinyl, but some people are using this. Um, as a headliner, it has like great four-way stretch to it. Okay. Um, as compared to the other ones. Yeah. And then when you put um, a little bit of a light on it, it has like a little bit Shimmer? of a glimmer to it. Like a oh. people will put this as a headliner. They'll have like those LED oh. lights, and it kind of gives it like a little bit of a shimmer. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. A lot of people make their own like gear bags, or they'll do like their shower curtains and stuff like that. And we sell this, which is called ripstop oh i know ripstop yeah oh yeah so we have ripstop in black we have it in gray oh yeah 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 for sure this is very versatile yeah these are your window, tents yeah, these window are your coverings. winter coverings yeah yeah different colors. wow different, that's a different that's a shocking difference of color when you flip yeah, that over absolutely cool this is like aluminum tubing that we do for um like marine customers this is used for some people use it for like awnings or pop tops or um you're making like bags or the same this is just more material yep so this is some umbrella so some people could make cushions out of that i know some umbrella like stocks and sells 
like furniture fabrics. We don't we don't have those here. Yeah, okay. tons of Velcro. I'm gonna take you back here really fast, just kind of show you everything. That is a wide piece of Velcro. Is that Velcro? You just can chop it up into whatever pieces you want. Yeah. That is a. <laughs> hey, could you give me a piece of Velcro for my picture frame? The size of my picture frame. Yeah. <laughs> you will never be able to get that off the yeah. wall. We do have some more like stuff that we use for the van market over here. This is fiberglass screening. So like window screening, uh -huh. bugs out, people put it in pop tops. Yep. This is laundry bag mush. That's what we call it. Um, mm -hmm. And people make like deer bags out of it. And this is a bit more of a tighter. Yeah, that's called no screen no -seum. or something like that. Okay, so this is probably what people would have in their door separator. So if they, their sliding door would have that cover that mesh yeah. right something, Some, like, something that. like that something like that keeps yeah. the bugs out it's yeah. just as you can feel it's kind of um it's delicate yeah. so yeah. like no large dogs like keep them away from it so they don't run through it or scratch it or yeah like yeah that. but that's um, neat we also have i'm trying to find it it's called energy shield oh it's this okay i'll, I'll show you a smaller sample okay but it's like this stuff is that it see. oh look at that <laughs> Oh, look at that. Looked very similar. It's like the stuff oh. that you see. Um, oh, that's Reflectix. On the inside of like, like window bags covers and, and okay. Yeah, but people use it for window covers and, oh. and things like that. They'll use like the closed cell wow. white foam that I showed. What here. if I do my entire walls with this? Like the, all of the walls and the cabinets and everything this in, color. In terms of, oh yeah. I'm joking, no, I'm joking. With like a, with a, like a disco ball. Oh my thing. gosh. This van may cause seizures. Yeah. You know what's interesting is looking at all these materials and like, yeah, this product was made of this, this product was made of this, you know, I, I, I can see so many of the things that I've seen yeah. traveling around, it's cool. you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I really want to show you and something that kind of is our baby at the moment is we got this awesome CNC table a couple of months ago. Yeah. What we're doing for our van customers is they'll order they, they will order flooring from us and we'll cut it out to any spec that they want so you can floor. cut out uh the ford transit 350 yeah. hd extended floor mm -hmm. i'll see if justin can cut something for you really fast hey justin yeah this is matt um hey justin he's doing hey. like a youtube thing for us okay yeah do you mind if we cut some stuff on the table yeah yeah, so we do we do cutting for the flooring and we're also offering cutting for the insulation too because a lot of people will just sit there and cut the insulation by hand and that's super time consuming. This is the Van Made Gear logo. Yeah, that's like what we put in our email signatures and stuff too. A lot of people use something called a smart a smart floor from RRE Global. Yep, yep, I where saw it's a track it. System. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, We've partnered with them too, so if you get a smart track from them and you want to buy flooring from us, we'll get the files and we'll cut your floor and ship it out to you. If you have CAD files, um, we'll take those from you. Justin's really great um, about, he'll turn it into like a PDF. We'll make sure everything looks good. We'll send it to you there. What is, is that is a the, bun? This is the foam machine. That's yeah. a bun cutter. Yeah. Cutting buns. You ever try to cut foam by yourself? <laughs> like with a razor blade? Like straight? <laughs> that machine does it a lot better than I ever could. Have you ever tried to cut a piece of foam? Like, like? No. <laughs> like a sheet off? No, I know what I'm good at, I know yeah, what Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so this table has like these little holes in it, mm -hmm. which- Suck down the material. The material, yeah. So this is, is this slip? It's just a slip. Uh, it's just to help pull down smaller pieces. Basically, the horsepower on this thing will drag this. So if you have a larger area on the table, the suction will help pull it down better. Yeah, but this is but so with small. This, it's so small that. So okay, so that's gonna suck down onto yeah. the. Yeah, got it. The vacuum will hold this in place, but the density of this material with the drag knife, so the friction of the drag knife, kind of will just end up shoving it around a little bit. And we got a round knife. Okay. Two different sizes round knives. We got a one inch and a two inch. The round knife is for long edges? Uh, it's 
basically for thicker materials okay, and okay. stuff that's lighter weight. Okay. We use for business cards. Oh, okay. Business card will kind of hold in there and hold in place, and you can see our perfect fit logo on the back. Oh, cool. Okay, perfectly perfect. It's a perfect fit. It is a perfect fit. Cool. Yeah, just grabs on. Holds that, and then yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine. Mine looks like I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in prison. Wow. So those. That's just how they come, yeah, pretty so much. The buns. Weeks, yeah, every two weeks get a shipment of foam in and like a semi backs up and they'll load it and it's these giant buns of foam. Oh, they're like, they must be, this one has a very rough edge to it. Yeah, it must so be about like burn cut, right? Well, that's like, that's, um, that's kind of Direct from the are. factory. Yeah, mm. that's, they all kind of have that like either on the top or yeah. somewhere. Yeah, like some they probably of. have a really hot blade and they're just, yeah. they're just cutting them off and they're kind of, they're kind of melting on the edges. This feels like, like a 21, so this is like super... But it's not like memory foam style. This would be good to sleep on, actually. So what people will do, they'll take like a firmer one, a firmer foam, put it as the base, and maybe do like a something like this and then top it with a memory foam if okay. they want to turn it into a yeah, mattress. Neat. We do have memory foam toppers. Oh, so you could take a denser piece and then top it with this, and then you have yourself a really nice... That's pretty cool. What kind of adhesive would you use? That that the uh, one of the the foam the adhesive that I saw over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not quite thinking about uh, foam yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. It's yeah. coming. Not quite. The Explain. job I worked before here, I used to work in plywood. So like switching from that to like the thousands of skews that we oh have. Oh my gosh! Yeah, big yeah. Big brain power now. Okay. Well, that was a pretty interesting visit. I hope you enjoyed it. They are the perfect fit for any of your ins inside uh, uh, upholstery needs. <laughs> um, I'm going to maybe take a few pieces into the van and uh, try to find out what might work best for, for my little adventure vehicle. Check them out in the description below. I'll leave all the links and stuff. And uh, you ship all over North America? Absolutely. Perfect fit.